Hey friends, today we are gonna be looking at a Sony FE 50 millimeter prime. That's a 1.8. So I got this as an open box, so you'll see that the box is damaged a little bit. That's okay. Hopefully the lens itself is in good condition. Uh, but right now on Autorama, you can actually get this lens for $50 off. So it's usually $250, 248 um, and now it's currently going for $198, which is actually cheaper than the open box I got. So if this says any sort of damage at all, I am going to actually purchase a new one and switch them out. But for now, let's go ahead and go with this unboxing and see what the lens looks like. All right, so here we are. We've got the lens itself. We've got um, instructions and manuals and that kind of stuff there. So it does come with this nice bubble wrap. And then we have our lens hood and the lens itself. The lens is quite white and uh, looks to be in excellent shape. So if I look at the front glass, there's no scratches. So it looks solid. So the inner ring or the ring that takes filters is a 49 millimeter ring and I'm going to put the cap on just to protect it and the back as well that is pretty clean pretty awesome okay yeah so you could also take this hood cap this is to help uh, prevent light and uh, lens flares from happening too much uh, and you can set that up as like that and so in my particular case I'm using it with an a7r4 so let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. You wanna line up the white dots there. Twist it till it clicks. And there you go. We got our front lens cap on this bad boy. And our EVF, cool. Quick autofocus. It's looking and sounding good. Yeah, so depending on which camera you have, uh, you might have a silent shutter mode like I do, so it won't actually make the click when you when you use it. But it doesn't add a lot of weight to the camera. Um, you could also flip this around even though you lose the ability to touch the ring for autofocus, right? If you wanna keep it more compact. Um, in that case, I would just leave that off and shoot without it. And then if you need this, you could also add that afterwards as well to help kind of keep your size down and keep the shape down, so, yep. So that's it for this one, guys. If you want to see more about what I do, you can check out the Hacking Hollywood channel uh, where I do some behind the scenes and building series and all that kind of fun stuff for the wild world of live streaming. You can also see my professional channel, which is Corporate Streams. And thanks for checking me out. We'll see you in the next one.